Hi, my name is Dustin Woodard, and I'm the percussion instructor at Houghton College and Alfred University in Western New York. Today I'm going to talk about Black Swamp's Concert Tambourines. They're an absolute wonderful tambourines. I've loved them for years. This one I've had for about eight years now. It's just been a wonderful uh, tool for myself and for my students. It's a great tambourine, beautiful calfskin head, nice bronze jingles, absolutely love it. Today, what I'm going to talk to you about is just some ways to keep your tambourine safe, keep it protected, um, and we definitely we want to make sure that you don't crack your tambourine head or crack the wood or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is just give you some tips to help you when it comes to maintenance. When it comes to these calfskin heads, right, if it gets very hot and very dry, then the heads will start to stretch, they'll pull, they'll get really flaky, they're not a lot of fun to play on, right? And then if it gets very cold and wet outside, they get very flabby, and it's just a very um, undesirable sound. All right, so I'm going to give you some tools to help you prevent your tambourine from getting in those bad situations. If you say you're in a very hot, very dry place, say you're in you know Arizona or New Mexico, anything like that, during your summertime, what can happen is that... Like I said, the tambourine will, stretch, will start to stretch, start to pull. All right, so there's a few things we can do to help with that. One thing we can do is just get lotion. Any kind of calfskin head, you just get simple, basic hand lotion. Um, you don't want any, like, you know, foo-foo, berry, cream, surprise, whatever, you know, that's out there. You just want simple, regular hand lotion. The big ingredient you want is called lanolin. That's what's really going to help. So any kind of lanolin-based lotion is great. All right, you just rub a little bit on your hands. Just kind of rub into the head on the, the top, the outside, as well as the inside. Very, very light. You don't need to pour a lot of it into it. Just a little bit, just to get it in there. And what you'll start to notice is that immediately the pitch will start to drop. The head will relax a little bit, and it'll be nice and smooth. And that's exactly what you want. Right. Another great tool that some people will use is they take the wonderful cases that these black swamp tambourines come in. Right, you put your tambourine in its case, which you should do after every performance anyway, um, and keep it and store it in a nice, you know, consistent temperature place. All right. What they do is they take a damp, you know, paper towel or anything like that, and they'll place it in the bottom of the tam tambourine case, not on the head, on the bottom, and then you let it sit for a couple hours, maybe even overnight. And what that'll do is the moisture in there will start to absorb into the head and that'll help relax it and keep it from getting too stretched and uh, we don't want it to crack, all right? So those are just some simple things you can do in order to help it if it gets too hot and dry. The next thing is if it gets too damp and too cold, all right, your, your head will start to sound very flabby and kind of like this. It's got like a nice bass drum sound, which is we don't want for tambourine. All right, so well, there's a few things we can do to help heat the tambourine up. We can simply use our body heat. Just get your hand, just kind of rub it very nicely, right? Not too evasively, just very relaxed, inside and outside, all right? And what that, that'll do is your body heat will get in there and the oils in your hands will get there and it'll help raise the temperature up. The next thing what people will do is they'll get a heating pad, just like a simple heating pad that people use for, like, for their backs or any kind of sore parts of their body, and they'll just place it on the head of the tambourine. You want to just do that for a very short time. Just put it on like a light uh, temperature. You don't want it too hot. Just put it on like the lowest setting it has. Let it sit for a few minutes. Keep, constantly check it to make sure it doesn't get too hot because then, again, it could crack. But what that does is, is it absorbs the heat, it helps stretch the head a little bit, and it gives it a nice, desirable uh, sound. Again, with that same idea, you could use something like a hair dryer. All right, ask your friends if you're like me and obviously don't need a hair dryer, and just get a hair dryer. Just blow some heat on it. Very relaxed, very smooth. All right, just just for a couple minutes, may at most. All right, keep checking it, and then eventually it should heat up to a nice desirable sound. So those are just some simple tips to help you just with your tambourine to make sure that it stays at a right temperature and all that. All right, like I said before, we all want to always make sure that we're using the cases that it comes with, right? Use this case after every performance. I take my tambourine, put it in this case, and I put it in either in a practice room or a green room, somewhere where the temperature is fairly consistent, because that's what you want. You don't want to constantly going up and down temperature-wise, right? Um, especially for those of us that travel a lot and you're all over the country and you're constantly in new temperatures, all right? If you can keep it in a consistent place, it's really going to help keep it uh, nice and strong for many years. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, any concerns, feel free to contact me. 
Um, I would love to talk to you, or if you have any other tips, feel free to comment or anything like that. Thank you very much.